well, the boy's kind of small. George Shrinks. Oh, but it doesn't show at all. George Shrinks. Because he's always acting tall. George Shrinks. Uh, George Shrinks, George Shrinks, he's called. Uh, if a problem should be found. George Shrinks. Uh, he's the boy to have around. George Shrinks. Uh, something big or something small. George Shrinks. Uh, George Shrinks, George Shrinks, he's called. George Shrinks seems to find a way to make his dreams come true each day. His brother Junior does a call. George Shrinks. Well, Dad, blows a bugle call. George Shrinks. And Mama keeps an eye on George Shrinks. George Shrinks. George Shrinks. George Shrinks. George Shrinks. George Shrinks. feel like you want to do something really special? Something really big? Like you want it to stand up and make some noise? Usually adults get to do the big time stuff, but every once in a while, us little guys get our shot. But today, I was gonna get mine. I was moving pretty fast, because I had big things to do. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. And that made this meal super important. When it comes to beating batter, nobody beats you, George. Fresh squeezed OJ, anyone? Whoa! <laughs> Ta-da! Juicy George! George Shrink sticks the dismount. He's a cinch for the gold medal at the Breakfast Olympics. Breakfast is served. Eat up, Junior. We've got to get our dance number ready for the charity recital. This week was the annual charity talent show. A chance for everyone, big or small, to strut their stuff. And I had something really big planned. So, George, have you decided what you're going to do for the show? I'm going to audition for Mr. Schnoltz's big band. Oh, that should be fun. What instrument? The biggest one they got. Big, George, big! I can't wait to show Mr. Schnultz what I can do. Perfect breath control. Precisely the oompa pa the band needs. Thank you, Mr. Schnultz. Next! Hello, George. Um, may I help you? I want to play in your big band. A one and a two and away we go! Certainly. You're perfectly built for turning sheet music. Or perhaps you'd like to try the triangle? I, I want to play the piano. I'm sorry. Terribly sorry, George. You simply don't have the finger span necessary for the keyboard. But I, I want to do something big. Perhaps you ought to start small and work your way up. Shall we find an instrument on your scale, so to speak? Would you consider... The cowbell. No. Uh, thank you, Mr. Schmaltz. <laughs> Junior, come back here! <laughs> where, oh, where has my Junior gone? Where, oh, where could he be? Gotcha! <laughs> Let's finish those costumes and get back to working on the art. Sounds like your father is trying out a new instrument. Stinky! <laughs> Say, what's
what's all a uh, hullapalooza? Hi, Dad. I'm looking for an instrument to play at the recital. I thought you were gonna tickle the ivories in Mr. Schnultz's big band. Mr. Schnultz says my hand span's too small for the piano. Ah, the conductor's giving you the short end of the baton, huh? Ah, uh, I decided I didn't want to play the piano anyway. I want to play the best instrument in the whole world. Best instrument in the whole world? Well, you've come to the right place. I've got boxes full of the best instruments in the whole world. How's about the harmonic and convergence? It's totally cosmic. <gasps> <gasps> Wanna give her a go? It sounds really, uh, good, but... Huh, not the most George-friendly noisemaker in the joint. I hear you, George, but don't fret. Try the electric wah-wah maracas. <gasps> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I think I put a little too much shimmy in that shake. So? It's really, uh, interesting. Hmm. But not exactly what you're looking for. Oh, no, don't worry. I got plenty more where that came from. Perdita. Hello, Eunice. Come on in. Could I ask you a small favor? Of course. What do you need? Would you mind helping me put together a little ensemble for the show? Oh, I'm afraid I'm all thumbs in the costume department. No problem. The more the merrier. I'm making Junior's outfit right now. <laughs> if I can just get him to stay still. So, George. Hear anything that makes you want to jump, juke, and jive? They're all great, but none of them is exactly... What you're looking for. I'm afraid I have to agree. Hate to blow stormy weather over your hit parade, but that's about every noisemaker I've invented. Maybe there's not an instrument out there for me. Of course there is, George. It's just, well, you're a one-of-a-kind, custom-made kid. You need an instrument as special as you. It looked like I wouldn't be performing at the recital after all. Until I got one of those great light bulb ideas that makes you say, I know! What if we build a whole new instrument? Now you're banging my gong. We'll make you a custom-made, one-of-a-kind, <laughs> perfectly tailored, totally unique, uh... George Lafone! The George Lafone. I like the sound of that. Like Dad always says, if you want something done right, do it yourself. And I wanted the George Lafone to be more than right. I wanted it to be the biggest sound around. The key to any instrument is, well, the keys. We weren't sure how it would turn out, but with Dad and me on the job, it was guaranteed to be one of a kind. Going to need a little crash, boom, bang. Hmm. And what's a George Lafone without a little boogie in its woogie? How about an auto harp? That's something you auto have, huh? Ah! Whoa, oh, there, Sparkle. There's enough hepcats in the jam already. Scoot, Daddy O. Uh, everyone's trying to get in on the act. There it is. The world's first and only George Lafoe. Give it a whirl! That 
is a one-of-a-kind sound, George. What do you think? <laughs> it's really good. You're right. It's really good. Uh, now we just have to make it boffo. I know. <gasps> Me too. This is going to be really big. You're an old hand at performing, aren't you, Perdita? Did you ever get stage fright? Oh, no. It's too much fun to be frightened. Oh, of course it is. The glamour of the grease paint. What are you going to do at the show, Eunice? I'm going to try a little routine I picked up in New York City. On Broadway, to be exact. <laughs> oh, Junior, that's a bit too much. George, have you seen right the... here, Dad. Thanks, partner. So, how are those bolts coming along? All taken care of. Bravo! Say, we're a great team, George. You are gonna have the biggest sound in the whole show. You bet, Dad. What in the world are you boys up to? Uh, not much. We just invented the greatest musical instrument ever. The George LaFoe. Oh, what does it do? What's it do? Well, it does everything. The George LaFone packs more sound per pound than a gospel choir. What's wrong, Aunt Eunice? Oh, uh, I was just seeing if you had a steel drum. That sound always brings back such sweet memories of that magical cruise off the coast of Trinidad. Or was it Tobago? A steel drum. Can we, Dad? Um, um, George, uh, another instrument could upset the delicate balance. Uh. You're right, Dad. The George LaFone's great how it is. Ah, oh, George. What's a George LaFone without a taste of the islands? All right! Ah, keep this up, George, and I'm gonna have to limbo. Dad and I were having a baby grand old time building the George LaFone. We were really gonna make some noise. Wow, that sounds great. What is it? It's called the George LaFond. I'm gonna play it at the recital. Where's the accordion? Oh. Can we, Dad? But we've already packed a ton of tunes into the George LaFond. But I'm sure we can squeeze in a squeeze box. Oh, it's gonna sound great. Really exceptional, you two. Reminds me of the time I saw Fred and Ginger at the Copa. Oh, pure magic. How in the world do you just get up and go like that? I, I, I just get so nervous just thinking about performing. You nervous? Look, I'm a wreck. Oh, I'll never be able to get on that stage. Oh, just go have fun. No matter what you do, other people will enjoy it if you do too. Ha -cha -cha. Junior, wait for your curtain call. Hmm. Our next performer has fine-tuned her act in front of princes and potentates. Put your hands together and give a warm welcome to... Got it. <laughs> now if I can just keep my little hoofer from hoofing it out the door. <laughs> Tell you what. Why don't you try your act out on us? Oh, I couldn't. Eunice, 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 Eunice. <laughs> but you have to promise, no giggling. Except that! 
But George, how are we gonna add a cat to the George Lafone? Not a cat, the chimes! But George, you, you've already got your hands full. Uh, I guess so. But if you really want to ring their bell, the George Lafone's gonna need some chimes. All right, Dad! I bet the boys could use some lemonade. They've been working so hard getting ready for the recital. Oh, my. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the world's first fully functional, one of a kind, absolutely unique, a George Lafone, home of the biggest sound around. That is quite an instrument. Does it sound as good as it looks? Only one way to find out. Start her up, George. a little too much music. Well, it wouldn't have been an authentic George Lafone without all the sounds. There isn't an authentic George Lafone anymore. And no performance either. I'm sorry, George. I'm afraid we just pushed her too far. Ah, it's not your fault, Dad. I guess I just wanted too big of a sound. Hey, now. Where's that shrink spirit? If you can make one George Lafone, you can certainly make another. We'll all help. You better me help. Sure, we can rebuild it. We can make it better. Sure, we can add even more sounds. <laughs> With everyone's help, the new and improved George Lafon was back in business. With even more sound the second time around. 20% more groove than ever before. It's amazing! Here, George, a little pre-concert present. <gasps> Clothes make the maestro, you know. Wow, thanks, Mom. Now I'm sure to rock the house. Okay, easy does it. Mm, okay, here we go. Next stop, big show. <laughs> Yeah, hey. Ha <laughs> That was great. But I thought a rocket was a girl astronaut. <laughs> Way to go, honey. You too, Junior. That was spectacular. Of classical music. <laughs> I don't understand why some people don't like the ballet. Next 
next up on our hit parade of local talent, the one, the only, Eunice Shrinks. Oh, I can't. I feel too silly. Sure, Eunice. Just go out there and have a great time, and everyone else will too. Just have fun. We have one last act to go. Let's give a warm welcome for George Shrinks and his George Lofone. I hope she can handle the stress. I hope you can handle the stress. I'm afraid I owe you an apology. I was wrong, George. You don't belong in the band. You are the band. Thanks, Mr. Schmeltz. Encore! Encore! Play the game, George. Okay, but this time I'd like to play with the greatest musician I know. The guy who helped build the George Lafon. What do you say, Dad? Me? <laughs> no, I couldn't. <laughs> no. Oh, Harold, <laughs> just go out and have some fun. Right. Yes, uh, good move. <laughs> yes, uh, thanks. <laughs> All right, hit it, George. Dad and I were a big hit. I wanted to do something special and really make some noise. And I sure did. The George Lafon was like nothing anyone ever heard before. Just goes to show, big things come from big imaginations. Hmm, what will we think of next? <laughs> 